my name is Patrick. I am from Northern Virginia. I went to school at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, a couple hours south. Uh, I studied economics and I found out about the Culture Project through an alumnus of UVA um, who just like consistently was asking for prayers for the mission, for all of his talks that he was giving. And through those prayer requests, uh, what he was doing sounded really interesting. So I wanted to follow up with him, ask him more. I met the Culture Project at SEEK and now I'm here. Serving with the Culture Project has completely changed all aspects of my life. Uh, and I've been lucky enough to bring the mission into my home with even like the closest members of my family. Uh, each of my relationships with my three sisters are completely different than what they were before I served on mission. We've had a lot of deeper, more meaningful and intimate conversations. And um, yeah, I think the picture of my family before serving on mission was just like a black and white picture. And now it's a picture in color. And you know, not all the colors are filled in quite yet, but it's a picture of color now. Most memorable field encounter. So I, um, my team in Philadelphia went to a high school called Bonner Prendy High School. It's a archdiocesan Catholic high school close to uh, the city of Philadelphia. And it's a little bit rougher, rough around the edges. And Emily and I gave a talk uh, on social media to a group of 11th graders. And in the social media talk, you know, we mentioned forms of dehumanization online, like cyberbullying, pornography, sexting. And after the talk, one of the guys comes up and introduces himself to me. Um, he introduces himself with like a really weak handshake and he's not really making eye contact. And he asks me, how would you help somebody who has a pornography addiction? And then he like leans in closer and he whispers to me, I ask this because I am addicted to pornography and it's the worst thing in the world and I hate it and I want to get rid of it. Uh, and his courage to just like come up and, and share that with me just really blew me away and I spoke into like the power of uh, connection and intimacy, how you know Satan wants to keep us alone. He wants us to think that we are like the only ones struggling with this, um, but that his courage to share with me uh, just spoke volumes about his just desire to be free and you know live a life centered around Christ. The gospel is alive and the culture project is that living witness. You know, if, if the gospel transformed my life, I'm going to share that story with other people and let them know that their story can be changed as well.